Okay, I've had a few people ask how to modify a Ford power steering pump to get more pressure and more volume out of it. Um, so what I did was I did a little research online and kind of borrowed some things from the Saginaw pump modifications. And anyway, I'll go through it here and it's not really difficult and take a look at it and see what you think. You're going to need a, a 21 millimeter socket and a 5 32nd drill bit for this. So what we want to do first is remove this cap. I'm trying to do this one hand, it is not exactly fun. Okay, so I cheated and turned the camera off. We'll break it loose a little bit. And behind this, what you're going to find is a shuttle valve, which is essentially a relief valve, and a spring. There you go. Nothing inside of that. There's the spring. And... And here is the shuttle valve and you'll notice that little node sticking off the end of that uh, we're going to snap that off because that's just a restriction snap it off and grind it flat okay there it is in the vise i'm going to just snap it off it snaps off real easy snaps off real easy so i'll do that just touch it once with a grinder. Yeah, see, nothing much to it. Nothing much to it. I didn't take, just kind of knock the edges off. So now you can't really see it. You can see that little bit of a recess right there. But what you can't see is that there's another seam outside of that. And what I'm going to do is press that down so that the outer seam recess is about the same as what that recess is. And I'm judging that to be about 30 thousandths, somewhere in that neighborhood. And what that does is inside of this, it's a pressed together fitting. There's a spring. By pressing that, you're increasing the tension on the spring, and that increases the uh, pressure relief, so it gives you more pressure. Okay, it's going to be hard to see, but as you can see, I get real scientific. I use a bench vise as the press, and I use an old ball bearing as the pressing mechanism. So I'm going to just press that in just a, just a smidge. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There it went. So now let's take a look. See what we ended up with. See there, I about doubled the amount but that sets inside of the housing and that increases the spring pressure and increases the pressure of the pump. So now that we've got the, uh, the valve modified, we're going to modify the pump. It's fairly simple. We're going to get a five thirty seconds drill bit. We're going to open that orifice right there up to 5 30 seconds. That's it. That's all there is to it. Done with the orifice opening. Let's uh, move on and get our seal back up. Make sure when you get done with this, get some brake clean. Clean the pump out so you don't get any shavings in anywhere. It doesn't need to be. Okay, we're on to real assembly. Make sure when you put it together, you put the side that you ground the node off of. That goes down first. Put 
put the shuttle in put the spring in I always wrap the uh, cap with Teflon tape There you go it's modified a little better flow a little better pressure um, i run mine with a ram assist steering and it works great i've done this modification for other people that do similar and they say it made a definite improvement but i'm going to warn you this is on your own um, skill levels and whatnot so i'm not going to guarantee it's going to work for you it doesn't work for everybody maybe but work for us